numerous questions, the same one everybody's been asking you. How serious are you about a run for president? You know, I'm keeping the option very open. And one of the things that, uh, that I'm doing through the book tour is finding out how people respond to the message of the book. It's uh, kind of where I stand, what I believe. And it's going to give people an opportunity to determine whether the message of this book is something they feel good about supporting if I were to run for president. Clearly, this is not a decision I'm going to make hastily, and I'm not going to make it on the timetable that somebody else is going to make it on, but I've got to make it thoughtfully and methodically, and we'll continue to do it. It sounds like you're in favor of running for president. You know, uh, the encouragement is very good, but I'm also realistic enough to know that people come out at 7.30 at night to stand in line to get a book and have me sign it. Chances are they're not the people who hate me. Uh, there are some of those, but they probably won't be here standing in line. You've already got the bus ready to go. Yeah, it's uh, it's all decorated up, right? So uh, just a few modifications, but uh, it's a decision that I've said repeatedly that I'll make uh, probably some part earlier midsummer. One thing that people need to realize about this next election: uh, the primaries start much later. They're protracted over a much longer period of time. They're not front-loaded with winner-take-all delegate selection. So anybody who goes out really early, they better have enough money in the uh, sack to be able to go the distance. I, I think a lot of folks going out too early, maybe like marathoners who at age, or rather at mile uh, 19, are laying on the ground with cramps in their legs. And, uh, you know, I think uh, you've got to pace it very carefully. How important is Iowa? Well, it's critical. Uh, people who kind of blow Iowa off, uh, I have to wonder how serious they are about the process. And, and there's two reasons. One, the Iowa selection is, in essence, a filter. People are going to find out whether they can cut the mustard here. Because people in Iowa are not starstruck because someone's running for president. They'll see them all. They'll see them all a dozen times. They'll ask them hard questions. They won't take no for an answer. They're not easily uh, impressed that somebody's a presidential candidate. And that's a healthy thing for the entire country, that they have to go through that tough filter. But there's another thing that happens here. The entire national political press will be camped out in Iowa for the whole several months leading up to the caucuses. So a person who says, well, I'm not going there, that's fine. Nobody will know you're right. You'll be invisible. So again, that's this idea that I'm going to skip Iowa and I'll let them catch up with me in Florida or wherever they choose to be caught up with, for the time the rest of the process moves there, they'll be done. Governor, President Obama today praised Mitt Romney for the Massachusetts health care plan. You are very critical of it in your book. Yeah. How big of an issue do you think that will be if the you two formal rivals in 2008 are rivals again in 2012? Well, we could be rivals. We could end up being, uh, you know, colleagues. Who knows? I mean, but if he's the nominee, I vote for him. I'm going to support the Republican. Uh, I've also said that I think that there's a way out of his uh, dilemma on the health care plan, and that's to say, look, that's what states do. States try bold things. If they don't work, then the whole country hasn't suffered. And uh, what I don't understand is why Obama would take a plan that didn't work out like it's supposed to and try to impose it on the rest of the 50 states. There's a possibility. I'm sorry. One more? Yeah, one more. There's a possibility the federal government might shut down uh, this Friday. What would President Huckabee have done to do it? Well, I think that. Uh, the House Republicans are taking the stand they were sent there to take. Uh, I don't. I haven't met an American who says, you know, I just don't think the government's spending enough money. I really think they got to increase that checking account and sign some more checks and throw some more money out there. I've not met a person. Maybe there are some people who really believe that we haven't spent enough by spending 862 billion dollars on a stimulus that's created a jobs that resulted in $228,000 per job created. For that amount of money, every American, every American could have had a check for $2,500, which means a family of four would have gotten $10,000. I'm pretty sure they would have spent it better. But the point is, it is not the purpose of government to spend money they don't have, borrow money they can't afford to pay back, which, by the way, is a chapter in the book that I highly recommend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.